In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at the T-Motor Pacer 2207.5 1750KV. Now, we've already tested, or I've already tested the 1950KV, and that thing was insane. It was pulling 1,000 watts of power and pushing 2 kilograms of thrust, which is crazy. However, these new motors have this special coating on the windings, which allow it to handle more heat for a bit longer than usual. And that's why it's able to output so much power without burning the motors here. Because usually when a motor burns or when you start smelling it, what you're actually smelling is the coating that's on the copper just burning off. And once that's gone, then they short circuit and then boom, you fry your motor. So they are using new coating, which is going to be pretty insane here. Now I did test this and everything will be in the timestamps down below or in the video progress bar. You can skip to whatever part of the video you want to see. So let's just have a quick look at the motor here. So first of all, we do get 15 centimeters of motor wire length, which is really great. And it is rocking the naked bottom design just like almost every motor out there right now and we also do have a hex driver in case you ever needed to remove the bell and clean it out if you got sand or dirt in it so that's really great to see also we do have a hollow shaft here and that will keep the overall weight down as well and um, just the overall color design I really like they have a couple of different ones as well and for some of the accessories they do provide you is they give you enough screws for whatever frame you might need and also the nut here which is again just pretty basic stuff so let's go ahead and jump into the testing results all right guys so this is the testing results for the t-motor pacer 2207.5 kV now everything was ran on 6s voltage and i've only tested four propellers which are the dalprop 5043 46 47 and the 5145 now this first row here on each uh table is the 25 percent throttle readings this is 50 percent this is 75% throttle, and this is 100% throttle. Now, let's go ahead and make sense of this. So the 5043 uh, tri-blades here from Dalprop got 1,754 grams of thrust, which is pretty good. It's pretty average of, of just about every other premium motor would probably get in this range. The 46 got 1,809, and the 47 got 1,815. However, the 5145s got 1,875, but I don't recommend you stick a 51 on there. Maybe a 51 with a lower pitch. Uh, because the motor does get really, really hot at 51. So try to avoid the 51, at least with this of this high of a pitch here. So try to avoid that here. Now we can also see if we take a look at the uh, efficiency here, we see that it's most efficient at 50% throttle. But I always tend to like to fly 46s. The Dalprop 5046 is my main propeller on everything. I just usually find it and see it as the sweet spot for most motors here. Check this out. On a 46, you get one gram of one kilogram of thrust, basically. At 18 amps, that's that's really good in my opinion. And for the efficiency here, we get 2.4 grams per watt for efficiency. So that that's really great. Usually it's 2.2, 2.1, 2.4 is pretty good. Obviously, any higher is even better. Um, so this is, in my opinion, this is my sweet spot. But you could choose whatever you you might want to see here. And usually I have these charts here, but they're basically useless because it just pretty much performed identical on all propellers um you know just slight differences and it's just so minute like 50 grams here 70 grams here uh between propellers and efficiency wasn't that big of a difference between them it might look significant here but we're talking about 0.1 of a gram efficiency difference between these propellers and again i think the 5046 uh tri blades are uh the sweet spot here at least for me from the propellers i've tested uh and this is what i would be running this on and that's it guys i really hope you guys enjoyed the video if you guys have any questions or any suggestions feel free to let me know and come join my patreon i do a ton of giveaways and again everything's linked down below if you could click those and check those out those greatly support the channel and i'll see you guys in the next one peace out